This story is called Abu Darda's Acceptance of Islam and it features Abu Darda Rizitala Anhu. Abu Darda Rizitala Anhu was a successful merchant and a fervent idol worshipper of Yasrib, modern day Medina. One day, as usual, Abu Darda Rizitala Anhu woke up early in the morning and went straight to his idol, which he kept in the best part of the house. He greeted it respectfully and bowed to it. Then he anointed it with the best perfume he had in his shop and dressed it in a beautiful new silk robe, which a merchant had brought to him the day before from Yemen. When the sun was high in the sky, Abu Dardar Anhu left the house and began walking in the direction of his shop. It so happened that on that day, the streets and alleys of Medina were crowded with the followers of Muhammad وسلم, returning from Badr. With them were several prisoners of war. Abu Dardar Anhu surveyed the crowds and then went up to a Khazraji youth whom he knew slightly and asked him about the fate of Abdullah ibn Rawaha Rizitala Anhu. He was put through the most severe test in the battle, but he has come out safely, was the reply. Abu Dada Rizitala Anhu was clearly worried about his close friend Abdullah ibn Rawaha Rizitala Anhu. Everyone in Medina knew of the bond of brotherhood that had existed between them from the old days. When Islam came to the city, Ibn Rawaha Rizitala'anhu readily embraced it, but Abu Dada Rizitala'anhu refused to have anything to do with it. This, however, did not break up their friendship. They kept on meeting as before and remained the best of friends. Abdullah Rizitala'anhu kept on urging Abu Dada Rizitala'anhu again and again to listen to him and see the virtues of Islam. But Abu Dada Rizitala'anhu did not want to leave the religion of his forefathers. Believed that nothing untoward had happened to his friend, Abu Dhar Zitalahanu went to his shop and busied himself with buying and selling as usual. At that very same time, Abdullah ibn Rawaha Zitalahanu arrived at his friend's door in a determined frame of mind. Taking permission from Abu Dhar Zitalahanu's wife, he entered the house and went straight to the room where Abu Dhar Zitalahanu kept his idol. He took out an axe he had brought with him and began striking the idol, repeating again and again in a loud voice, Isn't it forbidden to worship anything besides Allah? When the idol was completely smashed and scattered in pieces all around the floor, he left the house. Abu Dhar Anhu's wife entered the room shortly after Abdullah ibn Rawaha Anhu left and was aghast at what she saw. When Abu Dhar Anhu returned home, he immediately noticed that his wife was in a state of fright. What is wrong with you? he asked. Your brother, Abdullah ibn Rawaha Anhu, visited us in your absence and see what he did to your idol, replied his wife. Abu Dhar Anhu went in and had one look at the broken idol and was horrified by what he saw. He was filled with anger and made up his mind to take revenge. He sat down to plan what to do next, but not much time had passed that his anger began to subside and the thoughts of avenging the idol disappeared. Instead, he began reflecting on what happened and said to himself, Had there been any good in this idol, surely he would have defended himself against any injury? He then went straight to Abdullah and together they went to the Prophet There he announced his acceptance of Islam.